Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Card Review. So, yes, we're looking at a Cleepwood card. That deck totally needs more support. No, it doesn't. But we're still gonna go ahead and take a look at this card. So this is Cleepwood, or Cleepboard, because it's changed in English. Uh, is it Alias or Alias? I think it's Alias. Alias? Or oh, Alias, because it's Neos Alias, so I guess it'd be Alias? I don't know. It is a Earth Machine Pendulum Effect, level 8 with a scale of 1, with 2800 attack and 1000 defense. So, pretty much just like every other uh, scale 1 cleat put, just a big old attack. 28, so skill drain that, nice 28 meter. It's Pendulum Effect. Of course, you cannot special summon any other monsters except for, this says Klee. I don't know why it just says Klee instead of Cleepwood, but I guess, I don't know, maybe they're going to get some different type of name, I guess. I don't know. Uh, uh, monster, this effect cannot be negated. Okay. All Cleep monsters you control gain 300 attack. So, put them in the zone. Your, your Cleepwood monsters go up to, what, they're 24 and 28, but they drop because of the reduced effect, so it'd be 18, so they go up to 21. It's not pretty bad for a normal summon, but... Uh, I'm not sure if this guy would ever be, uh, well, he would be in the Pendulum Zone, wouldn't he? Because Tool is 9, right? I think Tool is 9, so I guess he would be in the Pendulum Zone, so. Eh, not terrible. Alright, but the, what we're concerned with is his monster effect, his own effect, because so far he's not doing anything different from other equipment, so, of course, monster effect. You can normal summon this card without tributing. If this card is normal summoned without tributing or special summon, its level becomes 4 and its real attack becomes 1800. Okay. Uh, this card, this card is normal summon slash set. It is unaffected by activated effects from any monster whose original level slash rank is lower than this card's current level. Okay, same thing. No, nothing special. Okay, so I think that this last sentence will be its actual individual effect. When this card is tribute summoned by tributing a cleat put monster monsters, you could target one card on the field. Return that target to the hand. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. So his special individual effect is being able to bounce a card on the field back to hand. It really seems really anticlimactic for being a double tributor because of course he is level 8. Well, it actually is technically it's it, but I don't know. I don't know how it is with... Uh, you know, the male masculine form of Yu-Gi-Oh! So everything, you know, that's specifically a girl you always want to call it. So I guess it, but it is level 8. So it requires, of course, two tributes. Now, of course, the cards that I want to compare this to is Disc and Shell, because they also require two tributes. So, with Shell, you double your attack. No, do you double your attack? No. I think you attack twice and you get Pierce. D Attack twice, get Pierce. I think that's what I think that's what he does. I think I don't think it's double the attack. Uh, I think that sounds wrong. It sounds totally wrong. But I I believe it's double. I mean, you get to attack twice, and uh, what what is his name? I typed in artifact. It's not why did I type in artifact. That's probably why I was getting it wrong because I typed in artifact instead of Cleeput shell. Like, I uh, typed in Artifact Shell, what's wrong? Because it's not a fucking Artifact, stupid. I, I don't know what I'm thinking, Artifact. I don't know. Uh, I can make a second attack during each battle phase. Also, it gains Pierce. So, two attacks and Pierce. Disc, when he's Tribute Summon, you get to summon two Cleepot monsters from your deck to the field. Of course, destroy your infants. But look at that bang for your buck. Look at, what, look at the destruction and the carnage that you are causing by attributing two Cleepot monsters today. This guy... He gets pretty much what? It's either Genome or Archive. One of them bounces a car. It, it, I think bounces a monster. I uh, probably should have done a little bit more research before just hopping into this deck, I swear. Probably should have done a little bit more. But, uh, you know, it's 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 really, really anticlimactic. Really. Really. Because I get to bounce a card? Like, a card. Target one monster on the field, return to that. Alright, so it's Carrier, or Archive. You, when it's two. Why did they do this? So, when I tribute two monsters, I get to bounce a card on the field back then. Now, what I was thinking was, it says, 
target a card on the field or target something. So you can go play your pen, play tool, pendulum summon whatever, pendulum summon to tribute, summon this guy, and then this guy you can go ahead and put take the tool and put it back in your hand and put the tool again and then go ahead and search. So that's what I was thinking that you might do with him. But, you know, for a double tribute, he's really anticlimactic. That's something I would expect for maybe like a single tribute. You know, like a level 5 or 6. But from a level 8 to tribute 2 monsters just for that, compared to Shell and Disc, it's kind of... I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just really anticlimactic. Cause he's, he's just only a little bit be better than Archive. Archive, when it's tributed, you get to go ahead and bounce a monster. This, I tribute 2... I target a card on the field, turn it to the hand, your opponent can activate any card if cards or effects in response to that. So if they're thinking about maybe like, you know, fiendish chaining you or something, then oh no, no, but you, you know, if you were thinking about you know skill draining, then you know, skill draining is already on the field, so yeah. And it says your opponent cannot activate cards or effects, so doesn't wouldn't matter anyway. But really, I don't know, I mean I guess it's another Kleepa monster, therefore increasing the consistency of your Kleepa, therefore increasing the amount of Pendulum Summon targets that you have, therefore increasing the amount of Tribute targets that you have for a killer, but really? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just find this guy kind of interesting to come back. He's literally like in between them. He was like, he's in between uh, uh, Genome and Archive, but in between Disc and Shell, where he's kind of like, he has a little bit of access to both of them, but they each do their own job much much better you know you know I I'd say either they should have made this card a lower level like level six and then it would have been totally worth it totally worth it you could even you could even reduce his attack down to 24 but I don't know right and right now I say that's literally the best play where you just tribute to which of course when they tribute they will go to the extra deck use your effect if you don't want to bounce any of your opponent's cards bounce your tool play your tool search so it's kind of like a uh, like, like a trampolink, like your own trampoline. Search again, and then of course next turn you will have not only the cards you search, but also uh, the two monsters that you tribute the Pendulum Summon, and of course uh, if uh, this card gets destroyed, it would also go back to the extra deck. But it would be a nice 28 beater at least, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that this card's that good in comparison to the other Kleep, but compared to, you know, uh, Genome who, bound, who destroys Spell and Trap when it's tributed, Archive bounces a monster, uh, Shell who who attack twice as nice peer, this who summons two other clean puts from your deck who of course we destroyed the end but then they would go back to the extra deck. This guy. Oh, Tool, the leader of the deck who gets you your searches. This guy. And like I said, I don't know. I I just don't find this guy that good. He's literally just like a uh 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 uh, uh trampoline for the deck. That's it. <sighs> Alright. So, tell me what you guys think about this guy, this card, the, the Cleeport uh, Elias or Alias or whatever his fucking name is. So, uh, if there's any other Cleeport cards that will get revealed in the future that are new, I will go ahead and look at them as well because uh, I'm piqued interest about this deck. I want to know how powerful this deck is going to get. You know, the power creep in Yu-Gi-Oh is fucking ridiculous. So. Uh, you know, it's nice to go ahead and be able to uh, keep up with everything and look at everything. So, yeah. Alright, so I hope that you guys uh, found this video interesting and, and informing. So, thanks for watching, slash listening, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.